Hi everyone, I'm Lara and this is Go Simply. Today we have an upper body Tabata strength workout using dumbbells. Uh, Boot is currently running in and out of the curtains and she might be joining us for today to make things a little more exciting. So grab your weights. If you like kitties, give me a thumbs up and let's get started. Okay, we're just going to do a bit of a free flow warm up here. Just moving your arms a little bit to the side. There's no timer for this little bit here. We're just gonna open our arms wide. We're gonna try not to squish our cat sitting behind us. This one is my active cat. She's Boot, if you haven't met her before, she likes to come in sometimes. And then let's just go up and down with our arms. So nice big range of motion here. And then let's go down and touch the floor and arms up. Touch the floor. Hey Boot, are you going to work out with us today? She may come in and out. Okay, just a couple more here. And let's do one more. And then let's just reach across a bit. That's great. And then let's do a little bit of a torso twist. As far as you can in your chair. Get those obliques warmed up. That's good. And then let's get our obliques warmed up a little bit further down the sides by just sort of reaching side to side. Excellent. Okay, so you can do just a few couple little shoulder rolls here and then to the front. Perfect. I'm going to get my weights close to the chair and start the timer. I'll meet you back here. Our first exercise here is an upright row. So I'm going to grab those weights and pull them up. So the timer is set for 30 seconds, 30 seconds, and I know a typical Tabata is 2010. We're going to treat it as a 2010, just using a 30 second timer. So I will stop a little bit short every time to let you know what the next move is. And our next one is going to be a bicep curl. So need, no need to put the weights down, but you do need to switch position. And now we're going to curl. So we're not going to get the full 30 seconds every time. And we're, but we can stop and take a little bit of rest every time in between when I let you know what's done in between. So it's really going to be much more like a Tabata timer. Okay, so you can put those weights down for just a second and we're going to go back to that upright row. So pull it up and under. And I see Boot has come. She's investigating again. She's very curious, very curious. And I know the saying, curiosity killed the cat. Let me tell you, we have saved her life more than once um, to the detriment of my bank account, but to the happiness of my children. So she's our, she's our special kitty. Okay, I'm gonna take a little rest here and we're gonna go back to that curl. This is our second time doing a curl. We're going to do these all three times each. That's why it's okay that we're not getting the full 30 seconds because we're doing them three times each. So they're getting a good amount of work the whole time. We will really feel this in the end for sure. So I'm going to take a little break here. I'm going to go back to the upright row for the third time. So again, right up under that chin, sitting nicely with our abs pulled in. And then we'll do one more time with the curl and then we'll go on to a new set of exercises. So it works like um, supersetting as well, which is great. So we're doing a short amount of time, but we're doing them several times through. 
and giving our muscle memory a little bit of a break in between. Okay, and go back to that curl for the last curl. And after this, we're going to move into triceps, like overhead tricep extension and lateral raises. So you know what's coming up for the next set of two. Okay. So if you like, you can give your weights just a little, rest them on your thigh for a minute and get ready for that tricep. It's gonna be above the head and bend those elbows straight back and then straighten the arm. So bend the elbow and straighten the arm and try and keep those elbows, you know, pretty close to your ears there. I'm going straight up and down. We're not moving quickly. We're just going through the motion nice and slowly for a full range of motion. We don't want momentum. Speed is not what we're looking for here. And again, I'm going to take a little rest and get ready for those lateral raises. So I'm actually going to do one arm and then the other arm. This is forcing my torso to work. My whole core is trying to maintain balance. So when we're sitting, sometimes we have to try a little harder to really get that core engaged. This is an excellent way to do it. So pull up in those pelvic floor muscles and keep those abdominals in tight with nice posture. Okay, and then take a little rest and we'll go back to those triceps. Ooh, should I get you some little kitty weights? Would you like some little kitty weights to join me? You're really just having a nice sniff all through here. If she comes near me and starts purring, you might be able to hear her. She is one of the loudest purring cats I have ever known. It's really, it's quite sweet, except at three in the morning. Okay, I'm gonna take a little break here and go back to that alternating lateral raise. So one arm and then the other. And like I said, it really makes the, those abdominals work to stabilize you. So it's a great way to add in a little bit of core while we're sitting. And we have one more set of these. Okay, and back to those triceps. So I'm cutting off purposefully about the last four, five seconds or so to just give my arms a little break and I'm not rushing into the next move. I think sometimes we get really caught up in the timer and you know, oh my gosh, I missed the first few seconds. I'm gonna have to try and make that up and I won't get enough rest and that's not what working out is about. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little break here for that last lateral raise. And it's no wonder that so many of us don't like exercising when we make it that hard on ourselves. Really, you need to get there and you need to move and you need to try and keep going. And if you need to take a little break, you take a little break and then you start up again. So we make exercise way more complicated than it needs to be. Um, and I know we like structure and we know what, we want to know what's coming up and I'm going to do my best to always let you know what's coming up. Speaking of which, we're moving on to robot arms now. So robot arms, we're gonna have our arms like this and we're gonna rotate up and we're gonna rotate down. So this is a new set of uh, a pair of exercises. Now we're gonna do three times each. So we're gonna do robot arms and a cross punch. And I may not be able to hold the weights all the way through for the robot arms. This one's really quite challenging. It's very good for our rotator cuff. Okay, I'm gonna take a break here and get ready for that cross punch. So nice and slow, I'm gonna punch across and punch across. We do not wanna do this fast. We don't wanna end up throwing our back out. But again, this is another one that upper back is really getting a lot of work. And that core, you're gonna to start to feel that. It has to support that extra weight on a long lever when your arm extends. So I'm going to do one more here and I'm going to take a break to go back to those robot arms. Okay, so we're going to rotate up and rotate down. And again, I have my pelvic floor pulled up like doing Kegels. You don't have to hold it quite as tight the whole time, but you know, make sure it's engaged. Pull that belly button towards the spine. Okay, 
and I'm going to take a break here and get ready for that cross punch again. Okay, so again, cross and cross. And we have one more of each of these exercises. And the next one, we only need one weight to do the exercises, so we'll be able to put one down. Okay. I like a cross punch. I like the extra work that my body gets. Oh, I'm going to take the last few seconds break here and do robot arms for the last time. So up and rotate down. Okay. So the next set of exercises we're going to do is we're going to do a wood chop to the left side and then a wood chop to the right side. You'll notice we're really getting the torso involved in this. So I'm going to stop and I'm going to put one weight down to the ground. Doesn't matter which side you start on because we're going to do both. Take the weight in both hands and we're going to rotate down and then up. And again, you want to do this nice and slow because we're holding extra weight and we're twisting through the spine. We do not want to do this quickly. Um, and yet time it is so good to work the spine in this range of motion because we do this all the time. We drop something on the floor and we reach to pick it up. And, okay, I'm going to take a break here to set up for the other side. So yeah, we drop things on the floor and then we reach to pick them up. Or we bend down to pick up a child or a cat or a dog. You know, whatever. We do it all the time to lift something out of our trunk and we twist when we do it. And if we don't have strong muscles, we hurt our back. And a sore back, man, that ruin really ruins, it, it more than ruins your day, it ruins a week. Okay, and down on the other side. Although, as you start to get older, in my age um, and older, really hurting your back can mean spinal injury. It can mean reduced mobility. It can mean loss of sleep, lots of pain. So we want to keep the spine strong and healthy to keep aging in a good way. So take a break. And then twist the other side again. And then we'll have one more round of this on each side. So I really can't um, encourage you enough to keep your spine healthy. It is so, so, so important. Okay, and I'm going to take a little break here so that I can do one more on each side. And I don't think you can see Boot on camera, but my workout mat is in front of me because I don't need it for this workout. And she is lounging on her back. It's like she's sunbathing. There's no sun down here right now because I have the window... There's a window behind me and it's blocked. And, but boy, is she having a nice little nap there. It's not very motivating to watch your cat sleeping. Okay, Boot, it would be nice if you could join in. Okay, we'll go to the other side. It, it's more motivating when people join you to work out instead of lounge next to you. But that's okay. Maybe I'm motivating her to be more active. Maybe she's thinking, hmm, I should move. You know, it doesn't look like that's what she's thinking, but it's making me feel better. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop here and get my other weight because we're moving on to our next set of two. And we're starting with an Arnold press. So hold your hands here and we're going to rotate and press up. Oh my goodness, my arms are sore. They're tired. That's that's good, that's good, as long as I can maintain my form, keep my abs pulled in and my spine nice and straight, that's good. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> okay, and we're going to pair this with a forward bend. So I'm just going to hold the weight here, and I'm going to bend forward, and I'm going to straighten up. And of course, now we're working the spine in a forward flexion. And if the weight is too much, you can try dropping one weight, and if it's still too much, drop the weights all together. Don't try and be superhero when working your back. If, you, if the weight is too heavy right now, drop it and do it without the weight. 
believe me, you don't want an injured spine. Okay, we're gonna go back to that Arnold press. I should have taken a longer break, so I'm just gonna slow down here for a second and shoulder roll, and then get into it. There. See, it's okay, I'm an instructor, and I don't have to start the moment the timer goes. I can take, and my body said to me, you know what? Need a little shoulder roll here. It's great, did it feel better? Glad I did it. Now I can work harder through the rest of the time. I can be more smart with my body. I'll take a break here. And if I'm more smart with my body, my body will help me do what I ask of it. Ooh, I, I don't have much hair, but this one piece of hair is deciding that it'd like to be right in front of my face. Okay, I'm actually going to stop after this one and get ready for that Arnold press again. We're nearly finished. This is our last set. So this is the last round of these two. So we're doing the Arnold press to one more forward bend and then we'll get right into our cool down. We're just going to do a free flow cool down again. So think of that in this last little bit that the cool down is just around the corner. You've done such a great job. Okay, I'm gonna stop here and get ready for that last forward bend. And you know what? I'm feeling a little tired. I'm gonna drop one weight and I'm gonna take this one between two hands. And I'm gonna do the bend over. We also bend this way a lot, don't we? Bending forward but we, we often don't even realize we're twisting when we bend forward. That's why it's really important to work our spine on a lot of different angles. Good back health. Excellent, so I am going to, oh, apparently I had one more, but I don't know what it is. So my timer's still gonna go, but that's okay. I'm just gonna leave it. I must have forgotten an exercise somewhere. I'm sorry about that. If you know which one I forgot, let me know in the comments below. And so the beep will go when we're stretching, just ignore it. Okay, so I'm going to reach my arms overhead and I'm just gonna lean off to one side a bit and I'm really gonna pull this arm through. Here comes the beep. Okay, so now my timer's over, so I'm not sure what I forgot. Again, if you notice what it is, let me know in the comments below. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, and then I'm just going to interlace my hands, and I'm going to really bend forward. Oh, I didn't, I probably didn't move those well enough out of the way there. I'm going to bend forward just sort of get that upper back a bit and really round out that lower spine. Oh, here comes Boot. Would you like to come for the last bit now? Yes, those are my weights. And then I'm going to take behind my back. Why is it that we talk differently to our pets? I talk to her like she's a baby, but it's true. I do it every time when I talk to my kitties. People must think I'm crazy. Okay. And Hi, sweetheart. Then I'm going to do a little torso twist to one side. Is that a nice scratch? Yeah. Yeah, is that a nice scratch? You can take a break and give your kitty a pet. And then torso twist to the other side. Oh, hi, sweetheart. Are we sharing? I don't know if you can see her, she's right behind me on the chair. Okay, and then let's do a few shoulder rolls. Yeah, it's not a very big chair, honey. Do you want to come around? And then shoulder roll the other way. Hi, honey. Okay, great job, everybody. Hopefully someone has joined you to say you've done a good job as well, and Boots says good job. Yes, they did a great job, didn't they? Excellent. Uh, let me know if you like these upper body Tabata workouts, and uh, I'll see you real soon. Take care.